I was born in Nogales, Sonora, and at the age of five, my father immigrated, the nine of us, poor mom. Uh, and uh, back then in 61, $35 was the, uh, the, what you paid. You submitted your papers. I remember waiting in line to take pictures of my passport. And my sister and I were in the backyard in Mexico. And, when, and my mother opened the screen door and she said, kids, you uh, have to learn English because we are moving to al otro lado, to cross the line. So as my mother closed the door, I said to my sister in Spanish with an English accent, <laughs> I said, okay, I don't have to speak English. I know speak, speak English. And I said, you don't think, okay, aprender a blaring glass. You'll say a blaring glass. <laughs> because during the times we used to go downtown, we'd see, we'd, I'd hear the English in, on TV, and also in the curios, you know, tourists talking and stuff. But gr growing up in Nogales, uh, so no, uh, Arizona was a big eye opener. I repeated first grade because of the lack of English. I got humiliated. I got teased and so on. And sports is what really got me my respect. And I just uh, I was really not uh, very fond of that because it's like you have to prove yourself. And a week before the bullies and everybody you know would would tease me or whatever, and I was an outcast. All of a sudden I'm the school hero, and I, so. As sports was kept my rep kept me kept my reputation, but I always gravitated to the geeks or the bookworms or the people who were outcasts or people who, kids who came from across the border who who were getting picked on, and I would see my past. So I would try to break out fights. I I um, so so anyway. Uh, it's, it's, um, as I grew older, of course, music came into my life, a refuge. Um, I'm a lefty, as you can see. I learned how to play the right hand guitar upside down, so all of my chords were upside down. So if you see me tweak, that means that, you know, I'm still trying to transform. So when my brother switched the strings, I realized I looked at my guitar and I had to relearn again. But I looked at my guitar and this is what I did. I said, I'm going to be somebody. And I had no idea that I'd be singing about human rights and speaking up for the voiceless. I don't forget my roots. Um, also, as far as uh, immigrants, I mean, the Irish, the Italians, everybody came to this country. Everybody kept picked on. Everybody was not accepted until you, you build up status. And um, so this is where I'm at in my, the, the, the just speaking out, singing. I've been a humanitarian for about 14 years, putting water in the desert. Um, and I learned a lot going back to my roots. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with a song. Um, and then I'll talk more and break a little bit of the, you know, just get a, give a little bit of a oomph to it. This song is called Shoes, These Shoes. And uh, if these shoes had a voice, what would they say? And, the, in, and, and I'm going to ask for your participation when I'm done to stomp your feet and let these shoes have their voice and think about your ancestors and you might have not heard about your your great uncle or whatever who got discriminated who was bullied around and and also through the years i've i've, I've just found languages very in cultures just very interesting and um so anyway here we go with these shoes <laughs> From the young, the weak, and the old 
a traveling shoe, living in prints with you, soul caring, a living soul caring, a living soul. was inspired by a friend of mine who her name is Valerie James 
and she's a sculptor in Amado. And what she does, she collects all of the remainings that she finds in the desert clothes and she shreds it and that is her material to work with. And she has uh, these statues in Pima College called the Lost Mothers. But when I went to her studio, it had the actual, um, the prototype and that was my inspiration. And at first when I wanted her to sing and bring the awareness, it brought to me the, the um, just the actual, uh, uh, trying to share with people, but at the same time, I was scared. And I, uh, I've just been very successful with what I write and where I travel and bring the awareness to people. This next song is called Joseline. And Joseline is a 14-year-old girl who died in the desert. And um, this was the hardest song to write because... At the end, there's a lullaby that I used to sing to my girls, and, uh, and I hear that Joseline is with me right here. Tropical country of El Salvador A journey is about to begin Crossing three man-made borders A world a younger's never seen before Sleep in peace. Duerma 
Duérmase mi niña, duérmase me ya, los angelitos te cuidarán, José Lin, you never came out to play. Thank you. Thank you so much. 